Hi everyone, my name is Zihan Mei. I'm pleased to present this paper today, Cross-Scale and Density-Driven City Generator, a collaboration between myself, Pan Pan, Jack Chen, and Jose Luis, who oversees the paper as our mentor. In the urbanization process, planners create rules to define urban form. This paper proposes an urban design toolkit to make prototypes of large new town planning by translating urban regulations to 3D urban form. The generator considers the influence of multiple input parameters, such as road network and density remapping, from a single block to an entire city. The two scales do not need to be calculated separately, which makes up for the discontinuity problem of many current computational tools. We managed to make a 10-second generation of more than 600 blocks, with an area of around 6 million square meters. Zoning parameters including FAR and BCR are applied, allowing users to manipulate the city form holistically, without tediously manipulating building form block by block. This tool is designed to be compatible with inputs of the boundaries in any shape and main roads in any pattern. It can deal with various urban patterns and the basic urban transportation system in rapid iteration in the early stage of a project. Users can also input multiple parameters for quick testing. To achieve our target of cross-scale generation, we considered both the urban scale and building scale, as well as the link in between. Thus, the density in the building scale will be based on the overall requirement from the urban scale. Correspondingly, our roadmap contains three steps, the road network and block generation in urban scale, density remapping linking the two scales, and city form generation in building scale. The first step generates road networks and blocks with density variation across the district. Its parameters allow the choice between rigid and organic grids, and the disparity between highest and lowest density. The second step connects the density in both scales. It remaps the distance between blocks and roads to a reasonable FAR for the third step. It contains weighted parameters and the remapping index for the overall FAR distribution. The third step generates forms of buildings within each block according to the FAR from step 2 and BCR. FAR defines the building typologies, while BCR defines the height and additional towers. As the first step, road and block generation takes in a boundary with the main roads and returns roads in three classes and blocks. Unlike some evenly random segment generation, the step is based on the looped division of blocks until various critical values. Initial blocks by the boundary and main roads are divided by secondary roads in a loop until a critical value by the user, and the same with the minor roads until another critical value. Before each loop, check the shape of the blocks and modify them if need. Areas near the centers tend to have higher network density and smaller block size. Thus, the critical values are not the same for each block even in the same loop. They are controlled by three parameters. The universal size defines the overall size to stop subdivision. Amplitude controller defines the size deviation in the same loop. Critical distance checks if the blocks are near the urban center, thus a smaller critical value should be applied. This comparison shows that larger universal size in the right results in larger blocks after division by main roads, and the same with secondary roads division. This page shows higher amplitude controller in the right makes blocks near roads much smaller than those farther. This comparison shows that higher critical distance in the right makes blocks divided more evenly. We also applied two division patterns for different shapes and two parameters for the location of a division point on each border to allow choice between rigid and organic grids. The second step takes in the blocks and roads and returns FAR for each block. We first calculate the minimum distances from blocks to roads in all classes. Then the distances are classified by three intervals to scores. All the scores of the block are weighted and summed up into the final density value. The range of each interval is set by the user. For instance, the three intervals on the screen represent three scores, shorter distance for higher scores. Each block will receive a set of scores to sum up. Based on the maximum and the minimum values over the map, each sum value will be remapped to three intervals of FAR, defining different typologies in the next step. From this comparison, it can be seen that generally blocks closer to the main road receive higher scores for density, 
and the weight for the calculation will influence the distribution of high-density blocks from main roads to secondary roads. City form generation takes in blocks with FAR and retains buildings in various typologies. The guiding logic aims to reflect the FAR regulation from the urban scale in building typologies. We concluded the relationship between building forms and FAR through various zoning documents in the US. The building forms are generalized into three categories. Low density residential blocks are visualized as a group of single family houses. The number of the parcels decreases when FAR increases. The spacing in between can be controlled by BCR from the user. Local retail and service blocks are visualized as a group of or single peripheral block. The area of inner courtyard, the peripheral building depth, and height are correlatively controlled by the defined FAR and the user input BCR. Commercial blocks are visualized as a single peripheral building with tower extrusions facing the main road and secondary roads. The building form is divided into the bottom peripheral part with set building depth and height and the top tower extrusion with height determined by the FAR and the user input BCR and T ratio. BCR controls the tower height and T ratio controls the ratio between the towers facing different streets. We also use the Imperial International Business City in Nigeria, a 200 hectare master plan by Gensler as a comparison case. Extracting the major road network as input to our tool, the output shows proper density distribution across the site, as well as the heterogeneity in building forms. Compared to the traditional urban design process, our tool allows quick prototyping in seconds.